Oh my god, another Oppenheimer one that I haven't done yet. I know that so rarely happens nowadays. Don't answer the phone. Elvis, Elvis Duran, the Elvis Duran phone tap. Well, what a controversial character this Michael Oppenheimer guy is. But we want to let you know that we officially stand behind him 100%. Yes. The email came in from Vincent. I want you to call my grandparents' house and annoy them. <laughs> it's funny to watch them get angry. Anyway, you can say whatever you want to to the people of the house. I want Scary to call as Michael Oppenheimer. Oh, boy. It'd be really great. Tell him to use that Michael Oppenheimer voice. And if my grandfather answers the phone, annoy them too. Or my uncle, he may be there as well. There you go. So is the uncle going to pick up the grandparents? Let's see now as Michael Oppenheimer calls the grandparents' house. Hello. Ah, oh, yes. Good morning. This is Mr. Michael Oppenheimer with Horseback Riders Digest. How are you doing today, miss? No, I'm not interested. Thank you. We have a wonderful magazine for you today. No, I know. I heard you, but I'm not interested in the Reader's Digest. Uh, it's not Reader's Digest. It's Horseback Riders Reader's Digest. No, thank you. These are for people who ride horses. <laughs> Why are you so annoying? My name is Mr. Michael Oppenheimer, and I'm with Horseback Riders Reader's Digest. Yeah, but I'm not interested in that. I have a special offer for you today. No, I'm not. Just one second, though. It's 12 issues that we have no. here. It's no, I'm sorry. For sixty-two dollars and thirty-six cents. Horseback Riders Digest. The board of Horseback Riders Digest. Oh, hello. Oh yes. Good morning. This Did I just Mr. tell you I want? Sir, you didn't let me finish. You don't I... have to finish. Don't call you. I Bye. Just... Can I speak to the missus of the house, please? Do you not understand English? Sir, we have a wonderful magazine. I don't give a sh if you got a million dollars. Okay, all I want to say. Goodbye. Don't call again, otherwise I have to phone Trace. Okay, it's five dollars. I don't and... give a. Sh Five ten a dollar. What did I just tell you? Five dollars and nineteen cents. That's per... nice. I don't give a. Is there somebody in your family that rides horses? Won't you ride my left? Is there somebody that maybe has a pony in your family? Because we do have a magazine for pony owners, <laughs> Pet Pony Weekly. Um, a pony. Who gives a about that? Do you not comprehend? Do you speak English? Do you not understand? Now, who would like? Who who would, who no would... one would like Jack. Do you not understand? Don't fall back again because you're wasting your breath. Sir, who in your family owns a horse? Hello? We can yeah, make I'm, you... I'm feeding my pony. I ain't got time to talk to you. There's no reason to get rude. I'm a telemarketer and I've been told I to call... I don't give a f*** if you're a telemarketer. We would just tell you. I was told to call this phone number. I they... don't care if you were told to call the President of the United States. There's no one here that wants any of that f They told me someone at this residence owns a horse. I, I don't own a f horse you're giving me a hard time for no you're giving me a hard time you're calling this house i was told to sell this magazine to this residence sir sell, sell nothing you're not selling to this house no one in this family has a pony or a horse no go buy me one and i'll own it my name's mr michael oppenheimer i don't give a it mr michael oppenheimer that's nice now sir. you know what here here talk to the wall ready here listen <laughs> hey Please, what do you want? Well, I really like your credit card number. We don't want nothing. I'm just reading from my no, script. No, no, I don't want to hear the because I'll get the cops, put them on the phone, and let them talk to them right outside. What's your name, sir? No, let them mind my name. Just get off the phone. I don't need you on the phone. What's your email? I'm waiting for important calls. I don't need you on the phone. All I want to do is well, send please, you... I don't want to give a what you want to do. What about What some... I don't want you to do is hang up and leave me alone. Sir, maybe some literature. Quiet. Perhaps some literature? <laughs> Hello. Hello, friend. Hello. This is Mr. Michael Oppenheimer again. I just want to tell you... I just want to tell you about our offer here. Our instructor offers $62.46 for 12 years. Please don't... So, please don't be childish. Why are you being childish? You're calling my house. <laughs> Well, I'm offering you a full 83 cents of the cover price. <laughs> oh, my. Sir, this is not. Jesus, Jesus Christ. May I what speak? What the was that? Can I speak to your mother or father? Holy. Firecrackers. What is your name, sir? My name is Face, like you. Mr. Face, can I have your address, please? <laughs> you don't need no my address. What's your address? We're in Norfolk, Virginia, sir. Give me your name, because you know what? I live in North Carolina, and I gotta come through there tomorrow morning. So I'll come in and wring your <laughs> neck, and then you can see who I am, okay? This is Staten Island, New York, the place where you don't <laughs> with people like me. Um, I have one more thing for you. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You're on speakerphone, 
face and everybody hear you. And everybody can hear you and grandma and grandpa because you've all been phone tapped. <laughs> Have grandpa pick up the phone. Hello. This is Scary Jones. Oh my God. Elvis <laughs> Duran <laughs> Wow, that was crazy. With permission granted by all participants. Elvis Duran was having a morning show. Their phone life in that one. Bringing families together while tearing their homes apart. Boy, that was amazing.